Lesson 15 homework. Number one. Tia cut four meter, eight centimeter wire into 10 equal pieces. Marta cut a 540 centimeter wire into nine equal pieces. How much longer is one of Marta's wires than one of Tia's? So Tia's is four meters, eight centimeters, and Marta is 540 centimeters. So I'm going to, since this is our, since Marta's is already in centimeters, I'm going to go ahead and convert Tia's into centimeters. So we know that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So four meters would be equal to 400 centimeters plus the eight meters here would get us 408 centimeters. That's Tia. And she cuts hers into 10 equal pieces. So if we divide that into 10 equal pieces, we will get 40 and 8 tenths centimeters for Tia. And Marta cut hers, her 540 centimeters into nine equal pieces. Well, 54 divided by nine is six. So 540 divided by nine would be 60 centimeters. Now it's saying, which is longer? How much longer is one of Marta's than one of Tia's? So how much longer is 60 than 40 and 8 tenths? So we need to subtract 60 minus 40 and 8 tenths. It's really important that you line up your place values here. Uh, I added a 0 and 0 tenths to 60 so that it'll make it easier for me to add. So I can't do 0 minus 8. I'm going to borrow all the way from the 6 and make it a 5. Make this 10. Borrow and make it a 9. This will become a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. And 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring our decimal point straight down. So we get 19 and 2 tenths centimeters. Number 2. Jay needs 19 quarts more paint for the outside of his barn than for the inside. If he uses 107 quarts in all, how many gallons of paint will be used to paint the outside of the barn? So he needs 19 more to paint the outside than the inside. And total is 107. So the outside is going to be 19 more than the inside. And then total, it is equal to 107. So what I'm going to do is subtract this 19 from the 107 so that I can get two equal parts. So borrow 17 minus 9 is 8. 9 minus 1 is 8. And that's just 0. So together, these two pieces are 88. And there's two equal pieces. So 80, so if we divide 88 divided by 2, we get 44. So this piece is 44, this part is 44, and we want to know how much will be used to paint the inside of the barn. So he uses 44 quarts for the inside, but we want to know how many gallons will be used inside. So there are 4 quarts in 1 gallon. So 44 quarts equals how many gallons? Well, we would need to do 44 divided by 4, and we would get 11 gallons. Number three, string A is 35 centimeters long. String B is five times as long as string A. Both are necessary to create a decorative bottle. Find the total length of a string needed for 17 identical decorative bottles. Express your answer in meters. So string A is 35 centimeters. B is five times as long as A. So B is 35 times five centimeters. So 35 times five would be 175 centimeters. Both are necessary to create a decorative bottle. So I'm going to add them together because we need both of them. 
175 not times plus 35 gives us 210 centimeters to create one decorative bottle, but we need to know the total length of string for 17 identical ones. We're gonna do 217 times, not 217, 210 times 17. Starting with a seven, seven times zero is zero, seven times one is seven, seven times two is 14. Put my zero down, one times zero is zero, one times one is one, and one times two is two. Add it together, we get 3,570 centimeters, but it wanted us to put our answer in meters. So there are 100 centimeters in one meter. So we need to divide by 100 and we'll get 35 and 70 hundredths, or you can leave it as 7 tenths meters. A pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange. The pineapple also weighs 870 grams more than the orange. What is the total weight in grams for the pineapple and orange? So I'm going to use tape diagrams here. So a pineapple is seven times as heavy as an orange. So here is the orange. The pineapple is seven times that heavy. And it also weighs 870 more than the orange. So if these two parts are equal, then this part is equal to 870 grams more. So six of the pieces, these six, are equal to 870. So let's find out what one part would be. So to do that, we're going to need to divide by six. So 870 divided by six. 6 goes into 8 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. You subtract and get 2. Bring down the 7. 6 goes into 27 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. Subtract, we get 3. Bring down the 0. 6 goes into 30 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. We have no remainder. So each of these pieces is 145 grams. including these parts. So what is the total weight in grams for the pineapple and orange? Well, we can, we know that this part is 870, so we could add 870 plus 145 plus 145. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll add 145 plus 145 to get these two pieces together right there. We get 290, and then I'm going to add the 870. We get 1,160 grams. Express the total weight of the pineapple in, kilogram in orange in kilograms. So there is 1,000 grams in one kilogram. So 1,000 160 divided by 1,000 would give us 1 and 16 hundredths, or you can make it 160 thousandths kilograms.